What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use two different uh, mice and keyboards uh, at the same time on the same computer. That means if you have an HTP uh, home theater PC and you want a separate person to be able to choose what they watch on one monitor while you're still scrolling or doing your own thing on another monitor, uh, this app will let you actually use as many different keyboards and mice as you want and be able to differentiate them um, by the look of the device. You can see on my mouse, I have a blue dot on it. So that um, shows that that is a um, one user. And if I move this other mouse that I have attached to a keyboard, you can see that I have a um, kind of an aqua light blue dot on it. And I can move both of these at the same time on the same computer and we can access and do different things on different screens or even on the same screen in different apps or the same app. So it's a really great thing, um, an app to use. So before we get started, uh, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. So if this video helped you out and you want more videos like this and other tips, tricks, and cool how to's, um, be sure to give me a sub. Um, but yeah, so to get this to work, we're going to use an app called Mouse Mucks. And it looks like this. And um, this is the website, mousemux.com. It's currently free. Um, I believe they do plan to eventually um, turn it into a paid program, but it says you can use it free forever and it's available for, for non-commercial use. So you're able to use this however you'd like um, for personal use, of course. And this is just a demonstration video of how it works. And then uh, once you open the program, this is what you see. And you'll be able to um, essentially see which mouse is what. So I'm moving this mouse. So you can see that it's number one. And this is user one. And if I were to type on the keyboard, you would see it's user three on this keyboard. And if I type on this keyboard, you can see that it's user one. So um, it highlights whenever anything's in use. So you can identify which keyboard and which mouse is what. Um, so beyond that, you can choose different modes. Native mode is only one mouse. That's just the way that Windows is built in. So this is kind of like off. Um, switched input means that you can see both mouse mice move at the same time, and you can both do different things on different screens, but um, you can't like draw at the same time or drag two things at once because it's not going to work. It's going to choose one or the other. It's going to switch between them. Um, this is my preferred input because it's very rare that you actually need to do two things on two different screens um, at the same time. Um, you can have one person click and then another person click immediately after, and it's still going to register both. They can still do their own thing. But I mean, unless you're drawing on both screens at the same time, you would normally use switched. Uh, multiplex, however, multiplex enables both mice, but it also enables both to do different actions on different things. So you can scroll, you can drag, you can draw, you can do whatever you need to do, and both mice will act independently. But I have noticed that this also causes a little bit of lag, as you can see right there, and it's not as clean of a setup as switched. Um, this is in beta, so hopefully that will be fixed soon. But um, yeah, it's a really great program that lets you use two mice and two keyboards or as many as you want on one computer and they can all work at the same time. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or other tips and tricks or ideas for new videos in the future, please leave them in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of Stream Savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.